Okay, so now we have our layer styles all loaded up. So now it's time to have some fun. And it really is just as easy as touching an object, selecting a layer, and clicking the layer style. So I have a little sample document that I made the other day and I was using some of my color blending brushes and now I'm going to add some of the um, Celestial Gold Mine jeweled and gold effects to this layer. So basically you want to select the layer that you want to apply, this, apply the style to. So in this case, um, normally I, I grab my move tool and I make sure up here on the top left corner that auto select layer is selected. That way I can just touch in my document where I want to select and it automatically selects that layer. Or you could go to the layers panel on the right and just select that layer. So I'm going to select that dark blue layer that I had painted out. And now I'm going to go and make sure that my styles window is open. So I've got it right here. And I have some of the sapphire styles loaded up from my Celestial Goldmine collection. But it's the same process no matter what collection that you're using. So I'm just going to click Sapphire and it instantly applies that raw, that raw Sapphire sort of look to that layer. And now I'm going to grab another layer right here with the lighter blue. And I'm going to go down and add one of, touch one of the other Sapphire layer styles. And so now I've got this cool sort of um, jeweled effect. But to top it off, I'm going to select this gold background here. And now I'm going to just play around and click on some of my Celestial Gold Mine gold layer styles. But again, this doesn't matter uh, which collection of styles you're using, the process is still the same. So this is just a demonstration file, but I do have to give a shout out to my Celestial Gold Mine Golds because they're the most beautiful golds that I've created. So you can just click through here. And that's the fun of the layer styles is being able to just try out all these different effects and see which ones you like best. And it's so fun. It's so rewarding. And it just gets, you just get to have fun with it. And you don't have to be locked into an exact look. So gives me a lot of options. And now I have got this really cool sort of um, jeweled gold background and I didn't have to do hardly any of the work. So that's a lot of fun. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to show you is that a lot of the style collections such as Instagram and Creative Couture will have one version of the style in gold and one version of the style in color. Now the gold is self-explanatory. You just click on click on your object or whatever it is you want to apply the effect to and click the gold style. However, the color one is a little bit different, but it's very cool because it takes the color of the layer and applies that style in that color. So it's very ingenious, it's very versatile, and it makes it really fun to create. So in this um, little sample here, I had used some of my Creative Couture styles collections in my illustration here and you can see the little sparkly texture effect here and it can be very bold or it can be very subtle and and it can really work in so many different scenarios and even here was the outfit that i was inspired by and i added a little bit of the creative couture sparkles over the outfit just you know you can be bold or you can be very subtle so over here i've got some of the creative couture styles applied in color now I'm just gonna go ahead and clear these layer styles. And now I've got the original objects that I applied the style to. So they're in three different colors. So I can just select one of these, which is this aqua. And now when I open my style panel, I can just flip through. Um, I've got some of my Creative Couture styles open and I can just flip through and play around and pick whichever style works. But as you can see, they're all in that color because these are the color styles. So they take the base color from the object that you're applying it to. And it can just um, give you so many different options. And all of the Creative Couture styles are like that. So you can just play around. Some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. Um, some of them are textile inspired, some of them are uh, glitter so you can just have so much fun and do so much with these color styles here I'm going to go ahead and click this blue 
and I'll apply some of the textile styles. But again, as you can see, I don't have to worry about the color because it takes the color of the object. Here is some jeweled styles. Uh, there's a darker one, so we'll leave that there. And then I'll click on my red and maybe I'll go back down to the rich glitters and you can flip through here and you can see and you can find one that perfectly goes with whatever illustration or whatever style you're wanting to do. So it's just that versatile, it's just that easy and it just makes creating so much fun. So if you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments.